Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 smartphone was launched in January 2019. The phone comes with a 6.3 inch touchscreen display. It is powered by an octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 processor. It comes with 6GB of RAM. As far as the cameras are concerned, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 on the rear packs dual camera setup consisting of a 48 megapixel camera with a 1.8 aperture along with another 5 megapixel depth sensor. There is a 13 megapixel camera on the front for selfies. It runs Mi UI 10 based on Android 9.0 Pi and packs 128GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded via microSD card up to 256GB. It is powered by a 4000mAh battery with 18W fast charging support. It was launched in blue, black and twilight gold colors. The notch on the Galaxy M20 is underlined by smooth curves and has a sleek face unlike animation to go with it. The bezels surrounding the display and also the chin at the bottom are noticeably smaller than what we usually see on affordable phones. Samsung is using a regular TFT LCD panel on the Galaxy M20, but we didn't find it lacking in terms of quality. Colors are vibrant and pop nicely. Now let's talk about the cameras. On the rear, the Galaxy M20 has a 13 megapixel primary camera combined with a 5 megapixel secondary wide angle shooter. On the front, you get an 8 megapixel selfie camera. The primary rear camera sensor is a decent performer. We managed to get well balanced shots in proper lighting, and the Galaxy M20 performed a bit better than other budget phones. The Samsung Galaxy M20 is a big leap forward as far as the affordable Samsung phones go. It has a trendy Infinity V display, offers solid battery backup, covers basic like HD streaming. There is a 6.26 inch HD plus LCD panel with an aspect ratio of 19 by 9. On the imaging front, the Honor 8C features a 13 megapixel primary rear camera with an aperture of 1.8 and a 2 megapixel depth sensor with an aperture of 2.4. At the front, Honor 8C has an 8 megapixel fixed focus camera with an aperture of 2.0. Both the front and rear cameras feature single LED flashes. This phone has a 4000mAh battery and runs EMUI 8.2. It is capable of 10W fast battery charging. This phone is powered by Qualcomm's new 14nm Snapdragon 632 chipset. There is also another variant with 4GB of RAM and 32GB of storage. The Redmi Note 7 S looks exactly the same as the Redmi Note 7 as well as the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Like its siblings, the Redmi Note 7 S has a glass sandwich design with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 at front and back. The display itself sports a full HD plus resolution and has a maximum brightness of 450 nits, which is good enough when using the phone outdoors. The display has good viewing angles and color reproduction. There are different display modes to choose from and you can also adjust the color temperature to suit your liking. The Redmi Note 7S is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 660. Xiaomi offers the Redmi Note 7S in two variants, one with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of storage and another with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. One major difference compared to the Redmi Note 7 is that you get a different camera setup. The Redmi Note 7S has a 48MP Samsung GM1 primary sensor with a 1.8 aperture and a 1.6 micron pixel size. The second camera is a 5 megapixel depth sensor which should come handy when shooting portraits. At the front, the Redmi Note 7 has a 13 megapixel sensor with a 2.0 aperture. If you don't mind spending a little more money, the Redmi Note 7S is a very good choice with amazing camera performance.